Hi, this is Dan Gray for LockerGnome.com, and we've got a reader question about compact fluorescent bulbs. Glenn wrote in, If you haven't covered it yet, would you consider discussing the pros and cons of compact fluorescent light bulbs? My biggest concern is there's no simple-to-use means of disposing these mercury-containing bulbs. These are considered hazardous waste and must be disposed of properly. Since here in New Jersey, hey, New Jersey, we only have one official site per county where we can take those bulbs. My wife and I have decided we don't want those compact fluorescent bulbs around our home awaiting the trip to the center. We do recycle all papers, cans, bottles, etc. every two weeks at our local municipal recycling centers. Well, here's the thing. Compact fluorescent bulbs last a long time. They say eight times a normal bulb. According to the Sylvania bulb right here, Eight times, where is that? Somewhere around there. Saves lots of money. You're not going to be throwing many of these out. They do last quite some time. I know that in my house, it's been years since I've replaced some of the bulbs with compact fluorescents, and they're still chugging along. That having been said, you don't want to throw these in the trash. You've got to find the right place to, to, get, to get rid of them. Now, if your county recycling center takes them, that's cool, man. Find a place, a little box, a bucket, Store them, take them when you can. It doesn't have to be every month. You're not going to have that many of them. Any reputable compact fluorescent bulb is going to have, hey, this is mercury. Where is it? It's on there someplace. Oh, right there. Lamp contains mercury, and it's going to tell you where you can get more information. Lamprecycle.org, or there's a phone number, 1-866-666. 6850. What's up with the 666 in the light bulbs? I don't know. So anyway, I kind of think it's a non-issue. You're going to save a huge amount of money on your electric bill. You're going to use less natural resources because you're not going to be throwing out bulbs every couple of weeks or climbing a ladder. Use compact fluorescence. These things are only a stopgap measure. It's only a matter of time until LED technology comes down in price. We start using LEDs instead of compact fluorescence. So for this time, don't worry about it. Store them, take them to your center, and make sure they go to the right recycling center. Now, as far as New Jersey and mercury goes, you might or may not know that New Jersey has the largest, I believe, repository of mercury at a government uh, depot north of where uh, Glen is. Don't worry, it's all going to go to Nevada. We don't have to worry about it being trucked out. Anyway, this is Dan Gray for GeekBooks.com. I think I need a shave. Thanks for watching.